What's going on guys? It's Josh and we're outside in this really, really hot day. And you know, I've been hearing a lot of stories on Facebook and on the news of people leaving their animals in their cars or their vehicles or their kids in their vehicle and these animals and these kids dying and it's just wrong. How do you forget somebody or something that's so meaningful to you? Leave them in such a hot vehicle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit in this car, my car, while it's currently 94 degrees and warming up because the sun just came out. It's gonna be beating down on me. I'm gonna have the car running as if I was an animal or a child. And then I'm gonna turn the car off and just sit and see how long I can last. I'm gonna check my temperatures before I get in there, check it during and, and all that. So let's see how this goes and see how long I can last. We got the car cooled down. So now it's time for me to get in. Okay, I'm in the car. Got the AC full blasted if somebody would. I'm gonna take my temperature to see what I am right now. And it may be a little bit hotter than a normal temperature because I have been outside, but it shouldn't be too hot. Let's see. Okay. My temperature, I don't know if you guys can see it, is 98.6. So it actually is pretty close to normal body temperature. Here we go. Let's turn the car off. And let's hit start. Okay, here we go. So, five seconds. I can already tell it's gonna be pretty warm. And you know, here's the thing about it is where I'm at it's not even you know as hot as some of these places are like right now you know it's like 95 degrees but there's some places that are 110 degrees back in my hometown there'd be days with 110 degrees with humidity um, a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about so yeah it's it's not good you cannot do this I mean imagine if you were just sitting in here and you were you know you were strapped in as a child or you were um, in the back seat or even the front seat as an animal just couldn't get out. I mean, you couldn't do anything, you know? I just, not good. And you know, one thing I'm noticing while I'm in here is as it's getting hotter, you know, I notice how quiet it is with no radio. You know, when you're in the vehicle, you're used to hearing music, you know, and all that. And it's just weird because I'm sitting here and it's just quiet, you know? Um, I see other people driving around, so like, you know, um, the, these children would be seeing these vehicles driving around just like I am, but they couldn't do anything about it. That's a horrible thing. There's nothing they could do. Like, I'm watching all these people drive. I mean, heck, there's vehicle right there, you know, if I was a child locked in here, they wouldn't even notice. About two and a half minutes. Let's see, I'm going to check my temperature after two and a half minutes see what it is wow 103.4 in just three minutes and 15 seconds I went from a normal temperature to 103.4 point four can you believe that after three minutes and 15 seconds it went up that much and in a child once they get to a, their temperature gets to 105, they start having brain uh, damage caused. So look how fast this can happen. Look how fast. We're now at nearly five minutes, four minutes and 52 seconds. And I don't know if you guys can see the sweat on me. Yeah, it is hot. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Not good. Not good at all. Uh oh, I'm starting to drip. Uh... I'm 
starting to drip sweat onto my sunglasses. I think it's almost time for me to take my sunglasses off because it's starting to get there. It's been, it's been almost eight minutes and my face is just dripping sweat now. 93 degrees. And there's still, it's amazing how many people drive right by me and don't even realize I could be an infant trapped in here needing help. So after 12 minutes, 12 and a half minutes, it's 103.6, so. Oh, it went up, that, and the temperature, wow. That sun just made it jump. I just showed you guys it was 93, and now it just jumped up to 97. 14 minutes. <sighs> starting to get hot, like real hot. My chest is actually starting to get hot, which is weird because I don't have the sun beating down on my chest but it just starts it feels like it's getting there I'm starting to have a hard time to breathe I'm starting to have a hard time breathing also man look at this puddle my sweat just from my arm my elbow okay guys been nearly 20 minutes. I just keeps getting hotter and I just keep sweating more. I think I'm about to get out. I'm just I'm starting to get thirsty and yeah. I'm starting to kind of daze like kind of daydreaming. Okay, after 20 minutes and 45 seconds, I can start to feel my heart push and push more and harder and harder, like, you know, because of me being dehydrated, it's having a harder time, my blood's thicker, and just having a hard time pushing my blood through my system, I can just feel it. And it's weird because of I don't know. I'm like daydreaming a lot now. 21 and a half minutes in here. You know what's crazy? Like it's been, been eternity now, but it's 23:40. I'm starting to get a headache. I'm starting to get tired. She's actually broadcasting live. This is crazy. Look at her. Look at this. She's broadcasting like like a news person. Look at that. That is so cool. So she just said, she read the thermometer, the temperature in here is now 140 degrees. 25 and a half minutes now. I think if I make it to 30, I'm gonna get out because I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Feels like there's no hope. Like I'm trying to go into the mind as if I was actually trapped in here and it just, there's no hope. I'm winding down and I'm just like, it actually is just making me happy watching her on Periscope live. I don't understand how you It's been 28 and a half minutes in my chest. 
Okay, it's time to get out. We're gonna first start the car and then we're gonna get out. So there you guys have the social awareness experiment with me sitting in the vehicle in a summer day without the AC on. I don't know, it was, it was brutal. Sweat just dripping all over me. But you know what, I hope this taught one person. If this taught one person a lesson, then I'm happy with it. So make sure you share it around so we can get at least that one person to actually truly be aware. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you later. Peace.